Hello, I have here a Cooler Master Hyper N520. Uh, the problem I have with it is that as you can see uh, right here, or uh, better yet, right here, the uh, retention clamp for the uh, Intel uh, motherboard uh, is bending downwards. And this is incorrect. Uh, with it bending downwards like this, the screw here uh, will not uh, penetrate the motherboard and uh, be able to be secured uh, to the back plate. Uh, so this is wrong. Uh, basically, uh, the problem we have here is the screw is uh, was put in the wrong direction. And I wish I could easily change the direction of the screw, but it is semi-permanently uh, attached. Um, let me see if I can get this a little closer. Um, I can't really make it out there, but maybe you can kind of see. Uh, there is a, uh, a black washer of sort here which keeps the spring and, uh, attached and also keeps the rest of the screw attached. Um, so my challenge here to get this thing working is to remove this black washer. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't screw off. Um, it is uh, attached um, essentially with the pressure um, so I'm going to have to just pull the thing off and hope that it doesn't get completely damaged. Uh, that you know, the, the whatever bends uh, end up happening as I pull it off can be corrected. Uh, so that when I put turn the screw over and put it back on, it will still hold properly. So. Uh, I guess I'll start working on this. I have one end of screw in a uh, pair of pliers here and I am going to uh, basically just yank at the uh, at the black washer uh, type piece. I'm sure it has some other name um, but I'm calling it a washer. Uh, I'm going to yank it off and uh, see if I can do it without damaging this part completely. Here we can see I pulled the, uh, the washers, or whatever they're actually called, off. Um, they got bent up a little bit, but uh, looks like I should be able to flatten them out so that they uh, will work when I uh, reattach the screws in the correct direction. So uh, I'm putting the uh, screws back on the uh, proper way and uh, I'm finding out it's not that easy but I found a little trick. Um, you get it all set up like this. Right now it's still loose. It, could, it would just come right off if I pulled it. Uh, I have a, uh, a socket from my socket wrench set and um, found one that just fits right over it like this and what I'll do is I'll just put it down on a book uh, so I don't damage any uh, uh, of my uh, desk surface and uh, just give it a nice little whack and that pushes it down into place um, so I'm gonna go do that now with uh, the rest of them uh, that seems to all have worked as you can see now, um, the uh, retention plate, as they call it, uh, now curves upwards and away from the uh, um, CPU cooler uh, heatsink. Um, so the uh, screw here is therefore closer to the motherboard and will now pass through the motherboard and 
and uh, attach to the uh, back plate successfully. So uh, I seem to have uh, managed to fix this on my own, um, which unfortunately was uh, necessary because the uh, replacement part that they sent uh, for the original uh, had the same problem. Uh, so I guess there was a whole batch probably that uh, had the screws put in incorrectly. Uh, but uh, now that I've resolved this, I can finally get back to uh, putting the uh, CPU cooler uh, on the uh, motherboard. Alright, that concludes this little project.